everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial so I am posting this video after a long time because I was busy so let's you know learn this awesome tutorial so the first step is insert a rectangle and once inserted we have to remove its outline and then click on edit shape edit point change the points to smooth point by right clicking on these points and you will get a shape like this so now the triangle has rounded corners so it will look something like this it looks like some rock or a potato Now duplicate the slide so that we can reuse the shape. Now rotate it vertically. You can do it manually as well as you use. You can you know select the format options, and there you also you can rotate the shape very easily. Now draw this rectangular line. Remove its outline and fill some color duplicate now we have to rotate it by you know 60 degrees like this make sure it is at the center again duplicate and then flip horizontally and you will get a shape like this now i have grouped all these and I have aligned these shapes to the center now ungroup these once once aligned to the center now what we're going to do is we need to select all these shapes and press union now it will become a one shape at the end and subtract this one shape from the shape at the bottom which is our potato shape now fill some nice gradient color and here you go now you have this awesome gradient looking shape now you know copy the shape from the first slide and paste it here apply white color and apply some shadow effect so adding shadow is totally your call you can design it even you know without the shadow as well so i'm slightly customizing the background here with a nice radial gradient look so i've used light colors in the background So it's very easy to design and you can see the design looks really awesome and it's, it's coming out really nicely and and the main part of this design is the selection of colors which is very important a gradient color will look much better and more appealing than the solid color Now let's add few icons here. I would always prefer and I always suggest in my videos that you should icons to represent some text because these icons look really beautiful. So I would also request you guys while watching the video you should also you know try to design your slides of course i have provided free template in the video description but it would always be great if you can learn it yourself and then download the template then it will really help me because my sole purpose is to help you people understand and learn how powerpoint presentations work so that's my main goal.
so i want to pass my knowledge to you guys so that you can learn different tips and tricks so i always recommend first you learn it by yourself trust me it will not take much of your time because if it will take max 15 20 or max 30 minutes to design one slide but next time when you design it you will take less time and in the long run you will take much less time to design the slides so that's how it works so now we will add some text here and you know text styling is very important text is the heart of any presentation and it is always supported by a nice and beautiful graphic it could be an illustration a vector or an image but in the end it's all about presenting the text now i have seen slides and in fact i have you know talked about it in lots of my previous videos as well uh, lots of people you know share their presentation slides with me for review and whenever i get time i always uh, you know spend time on those presentations and reviewing those presentations and sharing my feedback with the people so the two main problems that i always see of course one is alignment and the second is the text you know what happens in those slides text takes so much space that it looks like a word document and presentation is not designed for writing so much text as the name suggests its name is presentation presenting the text you have to present the information in less number of words and it should be supported by graphics that are highly appealing crisp and engaging so that way it will help users to look at the text understand it and then they will learn something out of it if you will write so much text on your slides then no one is gonna read the text and nowadays the attention span of the users are very less people spend less time on reading something if they are not engaged then they don't even read more than two lines or three lines max so i always prefer write some text in the form of bullet points keywords with the help of some diagrams and help them understand in a very easy way so here i have designed the same diagram in different color scheme and in fact i have also added a couple of slides where uh, you know i have added some background as well so here the message is clear that it's all about experimenting and trying different things even this one diagram can be presented in different ways it's all about how you think you design and how you apply your skills and your experience in designing any slide you don't have to design a complex diagram to showcase a simple thing all you need to do is whatever you create make sure it's well designed well polished it's clean easy to understand and a person who do not belong to this field should be able to understand the topic or the subject about the presentation you are trying to design now as you have seen we have designed the one slide with the background as well 
now let's try and do something different here with the same diagram so we have duplicated the slide and placed this infographic on the left now let's do one thing now let's try to do something here select all the icons except one on the right and reduce the size now slightly increase the you know size of this icon here as well now let's write some text on the right so you can also present the information in this style as well infographic on the left and text on the right but the main idea here is when we move to the next slide which i haven't designed but the approach that we can follow here is like this on the next slide this diagram will move clockwise and the next icon should have a bigger size than the other icons so that's how it should func function and you can keep on presenting the information on the right side so on each slide this diagram should rotate clockwise and the main icon will be highlighted with a bigger size and on the right you can present information in the form of text numbers facts bullet points anything you want so that also can be one of the approach so it's all about you know experimenting and thinking of different ways to present the information so that's what i have done here now let's try one more thing so i'm doing it in the real time i haven't thought of this concept concept before i just thought let's duplicate this And let's place it here like this and later we will move it to the back let's do it now now we will apply either a pattern or a solid color let's let's see let's go with the pattern fill that will look much better so here spend your time see which pattern looks good spend some time in the pattern selection and do not choose a pattern on which the text is not visible make sure the visibility of the text is not affected now let's remove the extra portion of the shape so it's not compulsory that you have to remove these extra portion you can keep it as it is because when you full screen and when you go to the slideshow mode these extra portions will be cropped out so it doesn't matter at all but i sometimes do in case of gradient fill you should not do it because gradient color travels from edge to edge so then it will start from the edge of the slide area so it will affect the design so i have tried to explain my thoughts and how a simple diagram can be made to look nice in different formats and color styles so that's the purpose of this video so i hope you like this design and my efforts on this so if you like this please subscribe to our channel join the membership and support us hit the like button share this video within your circle and keep watching our videos and do not forget to download this slide design from the g drive link provided in the video description so you are seeing the final output here 
So thanks everyone for watching. Peace.